Hi everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Brian Wallace, Product Marketing Manager here at Parallel Wireless. In today's video, I'll share more about how the RAN Intelligent Controller, or the RIC as it's known, can help mobile operators enhance user experiences and make networks more intelligent with an all-G open RAN solution. Let's get started. First, let's set the stage. It's no doubt that mobile operators are facing strong pressures to evolve their businesses and their operation to support profitable growth and differentiation. Explosive demand for bandwidth persists while ARPU pressures mount due to competition and limited services innovation. And yet users continue to demand more performance even while ARPUs remain flat and in some cases declining. Meanwhile, operators are seeing rising CapEx and OpEx associated with the move to newer technologies like 5G, which then brings ever rising end user expectations. The bottom line is this, MNOs must find new ways to increase their margin and improve network operation efficiency. And they have to do this with a more flexible and agile service delivery environment while reducing both CapEx and OpEx. And with these challenges and demands on mobile networks come ever increasing OpEx costs and increased complexity. Supporting multiple access networks for 2G, 3G, 4G, and now 5G requires ever more RAN capacity and denser networks. The 4G radio access network is roughly 10 times denser than the 3G network, and that densification is predicted to continue. In fact, network densification will be a critical part of deploying 5G architectures, especially to achieve the promised increased data rates and ultra-reliable lower latency performance. 5G networks are predicted to be as much as 10 times denser than 4G networks, which is equivalent to a hundred times increase over 3G networks. So as mobile networks are growing more complex and dense and more costly to operate, the self-learning and self-optimizing capabilities found in an open RAN solution will be important to efficiently manage the network. This self-optimization capability comes from multiple areas. For example, automation of network tasks and zero touch provisioning or ZTP help simplify management and operation. Automation will be a foundation for operators executing at scale without dramatically increasing support staff. Secondly, the O-Rain compliant architecture inherently incorporates intelligent frameworks for machine learning, specifically the RAN Intelligent Controller, or the RIC as we've been discussing. The RIC enables programmatic control of the RAN at both a near real-time and non-real-time level. The next area of self-optimization are RIC applications such as RApps and XApps. These enable the automatic execution, data-driven decision-making, and machine learning models. These XApps and RApps enable the network to use the right level of automation and intelligent controls depending upon the complexity of the operation. These apps are developed by Parallel Wireless, they can be developed by third parties, or even the mobile operator itself. Data analytics that will be captured in an open RAN environment can be processed by predictive AI ML models. These models can be trained and retrained for predictive, intelligent operation. This is going to be a huge advancement for our industry by leveraging automation to the fullest extent and eliminating the element of human error. Let's look at the RAN Intelligent Controller in more detail. As background here, the O-RAN Alliance is a global community of mobile network operators, vendors, and research and academic institutions that are focused on open RAN standards and interoperability. Future RANs will be built on a foundation of virtualized network elements, white box hardware, standardized interfaces that fully embrace O-RAN's core principles of intelligence and openness. And within this O-RAN architecture lies the RIC, the RAN Intelligent Controller, a framework that enables operators to use AIML policies and enrichment information to execute the RAN intent or the operator's business objectives towards the RAN while optimizing and automating RAN operations at scale. First, the RIC is consistent with SDN concepts in that it separates the control plane and data plane for RAN control functions. This allows MNOs to independently scale the control plane and data plane as required. In Open RAN, the G node B has been split between the DU and the CU, and the CU has been split into the CUCP and CUUP. And now, the RIC further separates the control plane of the network from the RAN and the data plane nodes. 
Second, RIC applications provide RAN programmability and flexibility. Applications use standard interfaces towards different components of the network to support optimization. Thirdly, there are three different control loops available for operators to take advantage of, depending on the needs of the application or the service. One, the MNO can use the non-real-time RIC control loop. That's where the R apps come into play. For service apps that require an execution time, of one second or more. Secondly, MNOs can use the near real-time RIC control loop. That's where the X apps come into play for apps with an execution time requirement between 10 milliseconds to one second. Thirdly, they can use the ODU schedule loop for apps requiring decision and execution time below 10 milliseconds here. It's worth noting here that these control loops are defined based on the controlling entity and they can run in parallel. Here at Parallel Wireless, we believe the RIC puts mobile operators in the driver's seat because it helps operators reduce both the infrastructure and operational costs, improve the network performance, and increase business agility. It also helps operators build new revenue streams with personalized services such as network slicing and indoor location tracking capability. The architecture that's illustrated here shows how Parallel Wireless is building an end-to-end -end solution architecture from the cell site to the RIC all based on Open RAN standards. The entire Parallel Wireless Cloud Native all-G Open RAN solution is software upgradable, thus reducing the cost and complexity of transitioning networks to 5G. Parallel Wireless provides a variety of solution options spanning the complete end-to-end -end ecosystem, such as RU options with multiple radio hardware vendors that can interconnect the Parallel Wireless DU and CU or certified DU and CUs from other vendors within the Open RAN ecosystem. The oval you see here indicates where the RIC framework fits into our architecture. And the ORAN Alliance has defined many use cases and applications that the RIC supports and which enable MNOs to provide use case driven, automated, and fine grained control and management of the RAN resources. These use cases will help operators improve coverage and capacity as well as launch new revenue generating services. And here are just a few examples of RIC enabled use cases. For example, admission control will help handle uneven user traffic distribution in a coverage area. MRO will help improve improve handover performance, and RAN Slice Assurance, which is an important capability for emerging 5G enterprise applications, will help provide particular services from the network that a 5G application may require, such as enhanced end-to-end -end security or low latency performance or other services from that slice over the 5G network. And there are many, many more RIC use cases being identified. Let's take a look at one of these RIC use cases in action, traffic steering. The goal of the traffic steering use case is to avoid degradation of user experience due to conditions of the network. It does this by dynamically balancing the load across the network. For example, to move a user from a highly loaded cell to an adjacent lightly loaded cell. What's shown on this diagram is a partial view of the parallel wireless all G open RAN network. Here we are also featuring a RAN intelligent controller framework from our partner Juniper the Traffic Steering R app and X app are developed by Parallel Wireless. As you can see here, the users of UE1 and UE2 are getting a good signal in cell site number one. But when more users come into cell site number one, all of the users' experiences have degraded, indicated by the yellow signals here. The Traffic Steering use case is designed to handle degradation of the user experience due to a local load imbalance across cells or due to variances in their available bandwidth offer. In a typical network, all users are treated equally within a cell, where typical controls and solutions are cell-centric rather than UE-centric and rarely incorporate predictions of future network and UE performance. The Traffic Steering RIC application addresses this by finding the right compromise on the signal strength in comparison to feasible resource allocation on the UEs. The goal is to redistribute UEs across multiple cells, considering both cell and UE metrics for load, throughput, and volume. Traffic steering improves the lowest UE throughput by the ability to evaluate per UE level metrics. As you can see here, because the adjacent cell number two was lightly loaded, the traffic steering application automatically intelligently moved the users of UE2 and UE3 to cell site number two. 
and as a result, the performance of all UEs across the two cell sites have improved. So let's sum up. First of all, Parallel Wireless's fully cloud-native architecture provides resiliency, uninterrupted services, and scaling while reducing overall deployment and operational expenses. The Parallel Wireless Open RAN architecture, including our RIC solution, supports AIMO model training by leveraging network data to train models to be inferenced and acted on by other functions. Open interfaces coupled with RIC X apps and R apps easily integrates with standards compliant components through standard interfaces. This supports X apps and R apps from Parallel Wireless, as well as third parties, as well as those developed by operators themselves. And finally, the solution supports policy enrichment data to influence decision making. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope it was helpful. If you'd like more information from Parallel Wireless, you can find us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as at our website at parallelwireless.com. As always, thanks for listening, and we hope to see you here again soon for our next video.